Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, one of our friends asked for this requirement and here if you see we have two lists. One is having only the delimiter and second one is having some values. Here it, it cannot be anything, I mean it can be anything, okay. Here I am mentioning only the delimiter, so you can consider that as the partial string match between two lists, okay. So once we see these lists, when, when we perform the operations on these two lists, the answer should be like this, means if you, it has the to remove list has percentage hyphen and and uh, colon symbol so in these elements in all of these elements from this list if it is any of these uh, elements are matching partially with any of these delimiters then we should filter out those elements so first one is xyz it doesn't have any of these four elements or delimiters Second one is 12 percentage. So, so percentage is part of this. So we will filter this out. And these two are normal strings. And here you have a hyphen. So here also hyphen is there. We should filter this out. And this one will come here. And here we have the ampersand. So even here we have ampersand. So we will filter this out. And here we have the colon. Which is also present in the other list. And script will come. So friends basically what exactly we are seeing this here is we have two lists, list of strings. So if any of the partial string is matching with other list then we should filter out. The same thing you can uh, modify if you don't want if you want the same thing you can modify the code a little bit to get your required output. So friends now I am opening Eclipse I have created Scala object. I have created, uh, I ha sorry, I have defined the main method. I have created the Spark session and the same list I have created here. One list is only for the partial strings or partial delimiters or whatever you can call it. Like we, we have to search for each of this in the main list, which is the remove from. Okay, so now we have two lists. Now what we have to do? We have to first filter out from this, correct? So we will say, from this filter out what we need to filter we have to create something let's say p okay anything you can take a to z anything even whatever you want you can get, say um, mention it as word or whatever also is fine okay uh, it's like uh, how we usually take for for i to 10 right here there they, we will take i right usually it's uh, the similar way so what we have to do is from this one okay from this list means for each element here from the, in this list for each element filter whichever is exists in this list okay and here again what we have to do is it's not the exact match correct it's a partial string so we should use contains so we i'll say a or anything as i said here we have taken p right for each element so if each element contains a which means that we are filtering the things if it is contains but we don't want we have to filter out if it's there we have to filter out which means we don't want for not we will put one exclamatory mark in front of this entire thing okay now we will assign this to some answer or something and here because this is a list we cannot use print we have to use for each println okay now let me run this code and you can see whatever is the del the matching ones are present here are filtered and you have got let's say you don't want uh, you you want only the ones matching then remove that exclamatory mark which is not operator 
and when you run it you can see the all the matching ones got it you can see right percentage hyphen and let's say if you are adding percentage here to this first element and i am replacing again with uh, i'm i'm adding this not operator now i am saving and i am running the code again and you can see that xyz is gone from this output okay so this is how we can work with list thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings and if you are facing any issues in any of the scala or pyspark related queries please inbox me thank you friends